Hello there. I hope you are all set for another episode of Euphotard Say the Darndest Things. This episode is on uh, um, alien abduction. Uh, this is one of the darndest things that Euphotard say, which is that these aliens uh, who apparently suffer from an extreme form of schizophrenia of some sort uh, feel the need to compulsively kidnap people and do the most nonsensical things possible to them. Let me try to demonstrate my point with my alien mask. Alright, so the advocate wakes up on the spaceship and they're like, uh, What? What the? What the? Huh? Where am I? <laughs> I have you now, pathetic human. Prepare to be studied. So, you're going to dissect me or something? No. Of course, I mean, you've discovered a way to break the laws of physics and travel faster than light to get here. Really, you have like a more efficient, non-invasive scanning method. Well, no, actually, not that either. So, uh, DNA analysis then? Also, no. Then, what are you going to do to me? Well, first. We're going to stare at you a lot, like this. And then we're going to stick a drill thingy up your nose, and then up your ass. And then we're going to dump a bunch of memories and thoughts into your brain, and then we're going to immediately make you lose those when we wipe your memory so you won't remember this abduction. And what productive benefit is any of that going to serve for anybody at all? I have absolutely no idea. You're retarded. Alright, uh, see, here's the thing about aliens. I, I hope that skit demonstrated the point I'm trying to make. Their behavior, at least in UFO lore, is so ridiculous and erratic that in order to make sense of it, we must assume that these aliens are mentally retarded and all suffer from some kind of compulsion or compulsive disorder of some sort. You, you just must make that assumption up front. I mean, it makes a lot more sense to use Zeus to explain lightning because at least Zeus has a reason why he might make lightning. There is a reasonable series of events in which Zeus would be the cause of lightning. There is no such thing for aliens doing any of the things they're supposed to do. Now, before I move on to the naturalistic explanation for alien abduction, I want to say something to after who are watching this video. I don't understand the alien abduction experience. I don't. I don't think I could ever hope to, unless I had it, and I've never had it. However, I do know that it surely must be extremely real feeling and terrifying to you. So, I do hope that you understand that this video is not intended to hurt you. However, there are those who would hope to profit off of your experience. Those such as the hypnotists who uncover the memories of alien abduction. These people know damn well they're full of shit. And they are nothing more than common thieves.
Alright, now what I'm now going to do is I am going to describe an experience that has been had by many over the years and I'm going to see if you can identify it. The victim, the experiencer, wakes up in their bed. They feel a sensation of paralysis, like they can't move, they can't speak. However, they have full awareness and sensation of their surroundings. They feel a pressure on their chest. They hear strange noises and they see a villainous, looming figure in their room with them often sitting on their chest, staring them in the face. This thing is clearly evil and absolutely terrifying. It is interactive. It will often laugh at them. What did I just describe? It wasn't an alien abduction. It was an experience referred to as Old Hat. Yet it sounded exactly like the alien abduction experience, now didn't it? That's because it's caused by the same thing, and that thing is called sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis is basically a malfunction of the waking mechanism in your brain where you only wake up part of the way. Alright, here's what happens. You wake up in your bedroom, or at least you think you're awake. You feel awake, and you have the sensations of being awake. You have all of your senses. However, you can't move. The reason you can't move while you're asleep is a mechanism in your brain that shuts off your motor skills while you are asleep so you don't violently act out your dreams. Now, another thing, speaking of dreams, that's brought into this Waking experience is dreams and usually nightmares. So, it's terrifying. You have the sensation of realism that appears from you really seeing and hearing your surroundings. But you also have the nightmare that you brought in, likely the one that you were just having before. So it's the worst of both worlds, combined to create the most terrifying sleepy time disorder you can ever have. Now there are other personifications of the sleep paralysis experience besides the old hat. For example, in Tanzania, the Popabawa sneaks into your room and sits on your chest. It can fly, so it will often cause a floating experience. In Germany, the Alp sneaks into your room and sits on your chest at night, causing a pressure sensation on your chest and also paralyzing you. And in the United States of America, aliens sneak into your room at night, cause a sensation of pressure on your chest, which paralyzes you and then they will cause a floating sensation when they bring you into your spaceship to do weird things to you. They're all basically the same. So, sorry folks, uh, alien abductions are nothing of the sort. Try again next time. <laughs>